But hey, you're playing this game. For I fun. Know. Good lord. I've been playing this game for fun for years and years now, over a decade. <laughs> Crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it's got me through some hard times. A part of me actually wanted to, um... Uh, inventory is full! <laughs> inventory is full! Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love how you have the voice things on. I can't stand that shit. Banning a warrior, I got so sick and tired of like, I need more of each! Like, I need to get closer first! <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I can't do this. How do I turn this off? Or do I have to start? I'm not ready yet! <laughs> That's the one I would always hear, because I'd be spamming the button. I'm not ready yet! I forgot. I forgot that you can uh, hear the voice. Yeah, well, I can hear it over your whatever, your headset or whatever. Speaker? Yeah. I need to get closer first! I guess there's a new guild that just came out called HC Delete. Yeah, I wanna join that one though. Like, oh, I don't know, I was just like, and then there's an, uh, like a new guild called Judgment. Yeah, that's the one, uh, my own is in. Why? Did she quit damage? I don't know, I had to just figure out her ult. She joined it on her ult, I guess. I don't know the reasoning, but... I don't know, like, guilds in Hardcore WoW are kind of like a dime a dozen, to be honest. But I wanted to join the Hardcore Delete one, because, uh, apparently the... The storyline behind that, as much as I hate to, like, bring this up because the guy who did it is like a super toxic idiotic fuck but apparently there's this guy who like bought a warrior account and would join hardcore delete and then um he, they're doing uh C'thun, and C'thun is like you hide behind this wall with C'thun and if you I, go... I, 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 I've done C'thun I, okay I'm... cool yeah I forgot you did C'thun so yeah, so he pretty much went around the corner and then went back and pretty much, uh, you know, the laser beam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Since he ran into the group, it killed like yeah. 10 fucking people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he purposely did it. He was pretending like he didn't, but he definitely purposely did it. Oh, I saw that. Isn't yeah. that tiny violin? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he got uh, reported and like, I don't know if he got suspended or what. But it was for a different reason. It was for using like a third party system or some shit. Which is also against TOS and Blizzard. And wow. Uh, but he didn't get reported for actually griefing, which he's already done before, because there was another event back before Hardcore Official even came out, which was like Four Horsemen and uh, Nax, and like, you know, you can't yeah, really yeah. penetrate on that, and he like I, fucked that up too, so it's just like. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah, no, I, I know that story, but. Uh, so, are you saying Tiny Violin is the guy who created that guild? No, I just remember seeing the clip after watching a clip of it, and he joined that guild, so... Oh... So I'd be careful, yeah. Because oh. he said he was going to do it again, because he's just kind of like that, I guess. Oh. Well, that's all his thing, you know, get, get yeah. people to watch. He's cause... super toxic, too. It was weird because he was like at the beginning he's like oh my god these people are coming in here and being toxic and then like literally 10 minutes later in his stream he's like fucking r words fucking soy boys fucking da 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 i'm just like bro like you're so toxic to yourself like why don't you chill the fuck out like it's worse enough that you're literally like ruining everyone else's like game just for your own freaking enjoyment you know what i mean mm-hmm mm-hmm you gotta fucking be super toxic about it too, but I mean, I guess those go hand and foot. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I get it. Some people just like, they find that as like, the most fun that they can have in the game. Like, I understand that, you know? I used to troll
troll a lot back in the day too, but I don't know. The whole, I think the whole like buying a character like completely like makes me even more mad about it because it's just like, dude, you didn't even like level that character up, like you just bought it, like. So it just shows like how little you actually care about the fucking game. You just want to piss people off, like okay. Dude, this Riz McGuire guy, I don't think it's Riz from Damage. He's from Questology, actually. But there's a guy in our guild called Riz, and he names everything Riz. And, like, I don't know, like, he always dies, like, stupid shit. And I see this guy, he's, like, pulling a whole fucking null camp, so I don't know. Oh, did you see the. I'm struggling over here. The, the mage in, uh. Uh, in a guild, in the damage guild, aka Frost, he he died. To what? He died yesterday. He was AOE mage farming, uh, and um, what level was he? Fifty-eight. Ooh. And then he Man. got disconnected. Apparently. <laughs> that died. sucks. Wrong but then, dude, you fucking get. <laughs> I feel like honestly, if I was now, if I was made it back to fifty-five and higher. I am not gonna be. A uh, um, the fuck? I just got disconnected. Right as you were talking about it? What the fuck? Are you in a safe area? Well, I'm, I'm in Stormwind. Well, oh, what I'm weird. saying is. That's I weird that you were talking about and then it automatically happened. Like, uh, what? Good. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill boars, go to Bellwood. This is a nice place in Red Ridge that I found a few nights ago, where it's like, you know that orc camp where the cave is? Uh huh. You go like right up there, like you're going up to burning, um, mm -hmm. black rock steps, and you just kill boars there. The spawn rate's super quick. I'm just mm -hmm. killing hella boars there, just to get finished off my level before I was gonna go help you guys out with your quest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can just sit there and farm boars all day long, and like they spawn fast enough that like by the time you kill one, another one's already spawned. Yeah, dude. The uh... dude, Questology now. I don't even recognize anyone in there anymore. Yeah. I think the only person who's still there is like you know, cozy. Me. You, probably June Survivor, who is my friend. <laughs> And fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and, uh, cheesy. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's kind of like that with Zerg guilds, I feel like. You just, you just get so many new people. And then, like, you know. Well, people die off, like, like uh, every day. Yeah, true. I was gonna say, by the time you, like, talk and meet up with one, like, ten other new people have joined. Yes, I'm going back to Lock Modan. I've done like most everything there except the ogre shit. The ogre stuff's kind of dicey. Especially when you go in the cave to kill the boss at the end. Yeah, but we're level 20 something. I think we're good. I always wait until the elite quests are like green and then I go in yeah, to do it. Yeah, but then I didn't do that with Alterac. I was being not safe. Okay, lesson learned every time. Right? That's why hardcore is good for new players, because they hopefully won't make the same mistake twice. I totally made the same mistake twice. Trusting people is a hard mistake. It's hard not to trust people though. You know, when you talk to them, you chat with them, you kind of build like, oh, hey. rapports, you know? Yeah. But the the hard thing with this core is, this is what I realized. So when I first joined this core, I mean, uh, uh, hardcore, um, I was leveling with this druid. And the guy was really cool. 
but I didn't realize he had such shitty internet. Yeah. And that's when uh, we went to do a Rafi Elite without a Euler and he DC. Jeez. And I died at 39 and a half. Yeah, and people need to be more honest, especially in hardcore. They're like, yeah, my internet sucks, dude. I mean, like, I've had people, like, tell me, like, hey, you want to go blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, nah. Like, when I was on my Warrior, I would get asked to tank, like, all the time. And, like, I'd find myself getting into, like, arguments with people, like, random people. I'd be like, nah, sorry, I'm not tanking. I just, like, I don't trust anyone. Like, I want to get 60 first before, you know, I maybe try to re-level and do dungeons and all that shit. And they were like, well, you know, you. I'm like, I'm also in arms, you know. I'm like, well, you know, you can take his arms. And they're like trying to talk to me like I don't know how to play warrior. I'm like, dude, I know, but like, you need to just like, like I'm not gonna go fucking group with you. I'm just letting you know right now. Tanking is hard, you know? Like, just because you're a warrior doesn't mean you people could tank. I mean, yeah. I don't know. You're right. You know what? I should not be too trusting of people. Or True. Yeah. Because I, you notice every time I die, it's always in a group setting. Yeah, it's the noobs will get the kill. That's why when I was first level at my warrior, first of all, I didn't really know anyone. I like started to know you guys like later on. I forget like what level I like joined Questology. I had already kind of like ventured pretty far in my journey. I think I was like 44 or something when I joined Questology. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, dude, I'm 15 levels. Like, I'm just gonna solo grind the shit out of this. And, like, I did. But I would get messages like, multiple people every day. Like, come take this! Come take that! I'm like, sorry. I was just, at one point, I was just like, yeah, sorry, I'm just solo solo self-founding myself or whatever. I make up some bullshit. But, you know, it was more just like, I didn't want to tank a group of random people, especially with a healer as a tank, that, you know, you don't know if they're gonna fucking get you killed or not. Like, leveling as a healer, like, okay, it's a lot safer, I feel, than, like, leveling as a tank, because if the healer fucks up, then you're dead. But if you're a fucking healer, and, like, the tank dies, you probably have maybe a chance to get out, you know? Exactly. Or, like, That's what you is gone! <laughs> You know, I, I was just thinking, like, as a healer, you will know when you cannot handle the mob, and yeah. then you just, like, know instantly when to get out. And you, you might know? not be able to tell the tank that. You'd be like, alright, well, you're on your own, every man for himself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But the tank, he's not going to realize that, because you're probably not going to sit there and typo, like, hey, by the way, I'm just letting you know, uh, we're going to run, and uh, you're on your fucking own, and you have all the aggro, so good luck. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> Hope you get out, but if not, well, you know, have fun re-leveling. I mean, I, I should, trust me, I wanted to tank. I really did, because I enjoy tanking and stuff, especially in Classic. But, like, I just knew on my Warrior, like, if I just tank a bunch of random groups, like, I'm not going to make it to the same thing. Some new healer is gonna get me killed that's like clicking his abilities and doesn't heal me fast enough or something. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a 60 first and then I won't give a fuck if I die on an old. I mean, I'll give a fuck, but like, you know, not as much. say this though like warlocks are insane and you would be able to catch up with liquid pretty quick with the warlock i know and then if you get 20 on your warlock you could pick or choose like well maybe my mage but mages are also insane like you know this group right now in general is just like like double mage priest like that's crazy i feel i feel like mages have because i play a warlock before and yeah. so now playing a mage, I feel like the mage have a slight upper hand than a warlock. It all depends. I mean, warlocks are insane. Like, especially if you go affliction, like, or even souling, like demo, like, they're all, they're pretty much like hunters, except yeah, like yeah. they're different. See, but the thing is, if if you don't, you, if you're not careful, and for example, yesterday, I would just group up 
random quest in Lock Modan with this warlock, I'm pretty sure his like uh, his uh, demon were on was on aggro, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can and, set to aggressive. Oh uh, yeah, so yep. And to me, it's like, well, you don't know how to use your lock, you can die pretty easily. Mm -hmm. I mean, the aggressive thing is awesome. I wish they had it at retail. But, like, it's good because you can, like, literally just, like, solo grind and, like, go AFK if you are confident and know, like, you're just around a bunch of greens or whatever, or your bear or whatever, your Voidwalker can take it, but. Mm hmm Well, the, because you think about it, Mage and Warlock, it, in raiding, such, uh, in raid, um, the, the lock just Shadow Bolt. Mm -hmm. And, and maybe, you know. Not to mention you get Curse. Curse increases damage of like other things. Like I think one of them is Curse of Elements gets fire damage increase, which is huge. Yeah. I mean, Warlock that's Mage is crazy it, just because like I look at it from a PvP standpoint and like Warlock Mage Priest is like one of the hardest, like it's so annoying to fight because they just have yeah. so much like CC and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their damage output is crazy. Yeah. Super with, bursty. Wait, with Mage, it's like they have their built in in the tree uh, talent, like winter chill, so they don't even need to press an extra button for a a any um, like curses, you know? Warlock is also really survivable if you know how to play it correctly, and like health stones mm -hmm. for everyone's nice. And... and I think the only, I think the scary thing about Loxo is just that, um, that life tapping. Yeah. <laughs> That's if you know so how to weird. use it, you're good, but like, yeah, I get you. Vaslo, well, you think about it, like, how many good healers are out there? What was like, that one guy who, like, bought his carry and then died to life Piccolo? tapping? <laughs> who? Piccolo? Piccolo, yeah, that was hilarious. Why is this guy running from me? Goddamn, Noel. <laughs> running like he just had his sugar candy. Can't believe he stopped playing. Raffle, he did. He, he did, he did. What a waste but, of money. But you know what's crazy? After he stopped playing, like, um, Carrick and Clegane stopped playing. Because, you know, I think Piccolo was carrying the both of them. Mm -hmm. Carrick, that guy, I just, I don't know. I tried with him, I just couldn't. In Discord, I had to, like, leave. I was just like, I can't with this guy and his story. No one likes him. I don't know, like, I just got so sick of it. I was like, bro, I can't right now. Like, I don't know, he sounds so young, but he talks like he's way older. I don't know. He was, like, talking about... I don't know. It's just weird when people, like, brag about their amount of drug use. I'm just kind of like, okay. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I've uh, walked down the marijuana path from time to time. But, like, when you're, like, just bragging low-key about, like, doing acid and all this other stuff, I'm just like, dude, like, why are you bragging about that? Like, do you know how much that, like, deteriorates your body from the inside? Yeah. But hey, it's your life. Live it the way you want. And he went shut the fuck up too. And I'm like, I can relate to him with that, but like, still, like, when <laughs> other people start talking, I usually have like, I actually let them like talk and finish their sentence. Yeah. It's like I found myself having to interrupt him because he's just like one of those people and as i say don't get me wrong i used to be one of those people too like for a long time where it's like if you don't interrupt me like i'll just keep going i think carrick just kind of stopped playing after he killed hangman and piccolo oh yeah i remember that although to be fair it was more the poway that got them both killed than um, oh really yeah i was watching it that night where hangman died and i was just like dude and, like, I remember I said something like, oh, I should have shower resistance or up. And I forget what the Pally's name was. But he, would, he like, started getting into it with me. He's like, what, what do you mean shower resistance or What the fuck? And, like, he was, like, ready to go. Like, I was just like, oh, you should have had, like, just casually, like, oh, yeah, if you had shower resistance or you might have resisted some of the fears or if you bubbled and dispelled, you know. I wasn't, like, trying to come off like, you're a fucking noob and you did it wrong. No, I was just like, oh, if you had shower resistance or you might have resisted a few. And he just like came out like full blown, like, what the fuck? You mean shower resistance or dude? What are you even talking? And I'm like, dude, like calm down. Like, I'm not trying to like get into an argument with you. I'm just literally saying, like, next time, you know. 
I should have let him have it, but I was like, fuck it. Like, I was new to the guild. I didn't want to, like, get into it with people. But I was just kind of like, bro, like, you don't even know who you're talking to right now. Like, I could holy power you the fuck out of you. Like, I could holy power you circles around you. So, the, so the Carrick and Hangman got too close to the ghost and the What happened was, uh, they fear. When you're in Sunken Temple and you're fighting the zombie trolls, they no, fear. I know they fear, yeah. I know you know, but I'm just saying for, like, the random zero viewers I have for my stream that they fear. Um, and what happened is they got feared. The rogue got feared. He pulled another mob. I think, what, I didn't really see it because I couldn't tell from, uh, Hangman's perspective on his, uh, screen that, uh, you know, I guess the pally got feared too, but he didn't realize that he could just bubble that, or he didn't realize that he should have bubbled that, you know? Mm -hmm. You look funny. You look like you're walking around with your Hearthstone casting. Hey, at least I stopped <laughs> looking like Christmas, okay? <laughs> I was, like, red and green, and I look like fucking Christmas. But anyway, so he didn't realize he should have bubbled. He also didn't realize he should have had shower resistance or up before he even pulled any of the mobs. Because I guess they didn't realize that they feared, and then he just feared, and uh, Hangman didn't have a Petri, and Hangman died. The rogue vanished out. He Petried, and it's just like, uh, he bubbled way later. I'm just like, dude. Sounds like it's like everyone at fault. Nah, I don't know. I mean, Carrick wasn't prot spec either. He was Fury, so he didn't really hold any of the aggro. And that's why I keep telling all these fucking people, especially I mean, all these warriors in fucking Hardcore WoW. Like, I'll be in the comment section on whatever, the death compilation videos and shit. Like, there goes another Fury warrior getting his group killed. There goes another two-handed tank getting his group killed. Yeah, you can tank and be fine with not being prot spec in Hardcore WoW it's you know doable but the fact of the matter is when shit hits the fan and oh i don't know the rogue gets feared into a second mob of trolls you're gonna want to be pry for that situation because that would be the best way that you can solve and handle the situation when shit does hit the fan and then you'll know that hey i'm fried i can hold aggro way better i can survive way more because i got last stand and shield law and all that shit i can just a taunt this stuff you know Fucking Zerker stance, uh, Zerker rage, go back to D stance, just hold the grow. You know, it's just, I don't know. I just see so many, like, Fury Warriors and Arms Warriors try to tank and then just fail horribly at, like, holding aggro and shit and, like, getting their teammates killed. And it just pisses me off. And then, like, even after that, they still are, like, doing it. I'm just like, dude, like, just go pry. They're like, no, oh, I'm not gonna go pry. And then, like, you know have to solo grind his prod and solo quest his pride just because you know it takes forever well i'm like well dude i don't know it just pisses me off like dude i get on this argument so many times with so many different people and it's just like i feel like i'm taking crazy pills here yeah like i created the piano necktie that was me what have you done derek nothing you argument with people huh? i mean I mean, if you know you're right. <laughs> I do know I'm right. It's the fucking thing. It's like people that argue, like, oh, you better just do arms or fury over pride. It's like, no, dude, if you're tanking, like, obviously the tanking spec is going to be the best spec to tank with. But people don't want to do that. And that's why I'm just like, you know, the groups fall low key because they invited the tank who wasn't really even a tank. I know you can't inspect people in this game and see their talents, but you can look it up online. So I don't know. I'm just like, dude. It's like, if you argue with stupid people, <laughs> Yeah. It's also kind of like, they come with this ego, too, attached. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I can just two-hand tank, bro, don't even worry about it. And then, like, when she hits the fan, you're literally healing this guy, and he's not even switching to a sword and board or going defensive stance. It's like he's doing everything in his power to make your life harder. Oh, so as a healer, um you want the tank to be in defensive stance? Well, it just helps. It's way easier to heal a tank that's in defensive stance, not taking as much damage than a warrior is in arm stance or battles or uh, zerker stance, you know, just fucking with the two-hander out because you're going to be healing them a lot more. They're going to be taking more damage, you know, they're going to be doing you a lot more, more damage. Mana. But yeah, it's exactly, you use more mana. So what happens if you oom yourself healing this guy and then all of a sudden the hunter's pet or something pulls another mob, then you're fucked. Mm -hmm. And what's the warrior gonna do? He's not gonna whip out his shield because he's too up in his own fucking head. 
is like, oh, well, I don't need to whip out a shield to hand tank till the day I die. And then, boom, everyone fucking dies. <laughs> and then he goes and levels up another warrior and doesn't I go broad on that. Yeah, I remember Carrick said something about it? shield in Mara. He did what now? In Mara? Didn't he say something about not liking to wear a shield? Yeah, it's AKA him pretty much saying he doesn't like the tank. Because, like, I get it, tanking can be kind of boring at times, but, like, also it's just, like, you can, you know, if you enjoy it, you can actually be really awesome at times. But the thing with tanking is you gotta meet your DPS halfway. Like, if you start tanking and, like, pulling a mob, a lot of people don't realize, especially with Classic, that tanking's a lot harder to, like, start off gaining threat. Especially when you just charge in and you're kind of rage starved. You need to kind of like get hit a few times before you start getting enough rage to pump off the sunders and shit and the threat gain and stuff. So if people don't realize, especially if they're not in like the same target, is uh, you know, the warrior can lose threat, especially if his taunt gets resisted or something. If he doesn't have like any sunders on an off target. And sometimes yeah. red casters especially will just start bursting him hard and then like they'll lose threat. And then something yeah. bad will happen, like a taunt will get resisted, and then it's like really hard for him to regain threat. Mm -hmm. I know. They have to I like know. switch to, uh, you know, arm stance and mock and blow or something. You know, they have to improvise. Yeah, that's why I, I like nowadays. I just try to like wait for one or two seconds, and then, or like single target a mob before I ever even try AoEing. You know. Usually if you single target and you're on the warrior's single target, like the target they start off on, you're usually pretty good. It's not a big yeah. deal, but... Yeah. Because you know how sometimes in like RFD or in RFK you have to do a lot of AOE? Yeah. And and I noticed with a couple runs is with some tank, if if, if I start AOE like right away, all the mobs just start going... Yeah. So that's why I started just like, okay, I'm just gonna hit the the, the guy that the tank target for a couple of hit until he get rage, and then I can start AOE. Tomato to motto too, because it's also like a lot of warriors that go tank spec will also go and get tactical mastery, and it's like I've talked to warriors and argued with them about this too. It's like, don't get me wrong, tactical mastery is awesome, and I really do enjoy tactical mastery tank. And to be honest, overall, it's probably is the meta. But I also really, really enjoy Piercing Howl tank. Because the thing with Piercing Howl, especially when you're AE, like when I used to play the re-release of Classic, I would just go Piercing Howl tank and I would roll with like three mages and a healer. And we would just go to ZF and AE grind like nobody's business. Because you just AE Piercing Howl spam and it's pretty much like an AE Frost Nova or whatever, Frost Freeze that slows them down. And it's also really good if, like, shit's hitting the fan and, like, you do lose aggro or something and, like, your taunt gets resisted or you have no way to gain it, you just piercing howl and then, you know, it's slow so you don't have to worry about it. Same with if you lose multiple, you know, aggro on multiple targets, you just keep piercing howl spamming and, you know, regaining threat. I just feel like piercing howl is so good for tanks, but, like, no tanks ever utilize it. Because it's so good. The second you see, like, two mobs break off of you or something, you just boom, Pearson and howl, and then by the time they, you know, are even walking to whatever they're fucking aggroed on, like you're probably gonna have threat back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, if you want to run or something and shit hits the fan, Pearson and howl is huge. You can Pearson and howl and just keep running. Most people barely ever even go prot spec for leveling now, so it's like so few and far in between. Yeah. The only person is your friend June Survivor. It's not my friend, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, June will go into the Discord, I mean Discord, the guild chat and say, Oh hi, I'm your friend. Uh huh. Hey, okay, Bass, I'll, I'll, I'll see you this evening if you're online. Um, I'm bouncing back to work now. Alright, uh, have fun. Are you playing tonight? Uh, I might be, yeah, we'll see. 